Hey up, it's Louise. This is my second Belfast video. This one is going to be comprised of charity shopping, a little haul, and just like a random video of us just faffing around in the museum. It was a really busy day, so we got up early, went to all the charity shops that were in like a good distance, went to some vintage shops, went to St George's Market, I think it's called St George's Market, uh, which is only open on the weekends. That was a really good in there. Like, mm, it's like a classic market with like, you know, like meats and fishes and fruit and veg, but then also like antiques and like handicrafts. I love that sort of thing. So I bought some bits in there. <laughs> and then we went around the Ulster Museum for a little bit. Uh, so I have some like nice museum footage because I love a museum. Then we went back to the Airbnb for like half an hour. Uh, <laughs> I was so tired. Uh, and then we went out for a curry and then went to see the fly back at the museum because it was the Northern Ireland Science Festival. And I've never seen the fly, you know, like the 1980s classic with Jeff Goldblum in it. And I'd never seen it and it was disgusting. It was horrible. I loved it so much though. So I uh, we had to go back to the Airbnb after that and just like watch the curling or like, oh no, we watched Dragon's Den, we watched Dragon's Den uh, to like defragment our brains because uh, it was a bit disturbing to watch the fly. So I will put in my little footage of uh, me just like roaming around the chazzers and the vintage shops and the market. Oof. And then I'll show you what I got. Goodbye guys. Hello, welcome to day three in Belfast. It's gonna be really hideous weather today because Storm Eunice is ripping through. So it's gonna be sleeting and uh, raining and windy and freezing. So I'm just wearing a load of layers today. So hopefully everything will be fine. I'm wearing my little froggy t-shirt. I'm feeling happy. Got my little chip fork earrings in. I'm feeling wild. Uh, so yeah, today we are planning on gonna go get a breakfast. I'm hoping that we can get in the cafe around the corner because I really want a fry fry so bad uh, and then we're gonna go look around the charity shops and some vintage shops and maybe the market if we can get in uh, maybe stop for a bit of dinner or something and then we've got a slot booked for the Ulster Museum this afternoon I'm gonna go there have a look at some culture look at some like bog bodies or something I don't know if they have bog bodies here but I just know bog bodies are a big thing in Ireland uh, go look at some art and artifacts you know, I'm so cultured. Um, and then come back to the Airbnb for a bit. We've got a meal booked at five, I think, which is like this Indian place that's just around the corner. It's like Ind Indian and Nepalese food, which is apparently the top rated place in Belfast to go for food. So that's a winner because I love Cora. Uh, then we are booked in, oh, it's quite a busy day. Uh, it's the Northern Ireland Science Festival at the minute. Um, and they are showing some like, science fiction-y sort of films at the Ulster Museum which is just like 10 minutes down the road from where we're staying and I've booked us tickets to go see The Fly, you know the Jeff Goldblum classic. I've not seen it but could be kind of fun uh, and that costs like a five or a ticket so I thought that's a little fun thing to do. Uh, another busy day today, I was really tired yesterday so when we got back from our little tour uh, we went to Boojum and got burritos and just then sat in bed watching so I'm like, oh, we watched a Tinder swindle left. That was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's me for the morning. I'm just admiring myself in this viewfinder. I'm like, this eyeliner is really impractical because it's just going to be like raining and sleeting and it's all just going to come off. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Nice shut up my nose. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. I'll be rummaging in some charity shops. Wish me luck for a good haul.
I said that this is just completely empty. There's just nothing here. Oh, this bit as well. It's just empty. I don't think he was that horrid though. <laughs> Hi, 
Yeah, hello, it's the afternoon. This makeup has held up surprisingly well. Uh, and the weather held up surprisingly well as well. Oh my god, my ears are so red. I didn't wear my hat on the way home. <laughs> my ears are so red! Ignore my incredibly red ears. So yeah, the... Oh my god, they're distractingly red. Please. Uh, so, the weather held up really well, uh, despite the storm. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't stop looking at my red ears. Uh, but yeah, I, just, I'll just ignore them. Uh, so yeah, it held up fine. Uh, and I managed to get my fry this morning and it was delicious. I had a nice fried piece of soda bread and some like potato scone with it. It was amazing. Um, so now I'm just going to chill on the Airbnb for a little bit, have a cup of tea and a snack. We're booked in for a curry tonight and I'm really excited because curry is my favourite food. Uh, and then we are going back to the Ulster Museum we've just been and we're going to watch the fly. So I'll see you in a bit. It's got a little heart because I love curry. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, hi, hello. I'm back in the Airbnb in the evening. It is, I don't know, because my Fitbit won't tell me what time it is. Na Five past nine? That's so late. Uh, so we went and had a curry and that was really, really nice. Very delicious. And my ears are really red again. Sorry about that. Uh, it just started snowing and like sleeting on the way back from the museum. So we went to see the fly after we'd eaten a big delicious curry. And I've never seen the fly before and it was absolutely disgusting. It was really good. Jeff Goldblum, sensational. Gina Davis, sensational. The other guy, sensational. Absolutely disgusting. Great practical effects. Horrible, horrible body horror. 10 out of 10. Loved it. Uh, so yeah, now I need to like defrag my brain <laughs> because it was vile. Uh, so I'm just going to sit and watch some um, nonsense on TV. Maybe watch like the Winter Olympics and eat my Tim bits. They have Tim Hortons here, which uh, excites me. Gonna eat my Tim bits and have a cup of tea in bed. I will <laughs> catch you tomorrow. So the whole picture this. We've arrived in Belfast. It's blowing a gale. It's raining. Stepping off the plane, I got absolutely soaked to the bone walking from like the plane to the terminal. We arrived between Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice and it was just supposed to be just minging the entire time. Windy and raining. And like bear in mind, we're like, we were going on like a trip by the coast. So, nightmare. We get off the plane, it's raining, we're waiting for the airport bus. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my raincoat out of the suitcase. But I open the suitcase and my raincoat isn't there. I knew I packed my raincoat, but it wasn't there. So what had happened was uh, when removing, I, would, I packed like four books for no reason. And I thought, I don't need four books. So I said to my partner, like, while you're in the suitcase, we take like the books out? Cause I only needed one book and I didn't even finish it. Uh, and they moved the coat to remove the book and then didn't put the coat back. So that was a tragedy. So as soon as we got there, we had to like troll around the charity shops to find me a raincoat because I was not walking around with no raincoat because I had a down jacket and like if that gets wet, all the feathers will just clump together and it's horrible. So we had to go troll around all the charity shops to get a raincoat. So the first thing, very boring and practical, uh, a raincoat. It's from Hobbs and it, it was fine. It did a really good job of uh, keeping me dry, but because it was like smaller, like in length than uh, my down jacket, it, <laughs> it made me have like a very fat tummy. So uh, it made me just look like I had like a big muffin top, but whatever. I stayed nice and warm and dry. I don't care. Uh, so I didn't buy this, my partner bought it me as an apology for <laughs> accidentally uh, throwing out my other one and leaving it at home. But it was £10. And to be fair, it's from Hobbs. It's quite nice. We got it from Cancer Research, I think. You served me well, Lil Raincoat. It was the like least offensive one. There were some really like ugly ones, but I'm like, I'll just get that, get that normal one. And also while on the hunt for a raincoat on the first day, we went into, there was a Red Cross Vintage and Retro. I don't know why I would be looking there for a raincoat, but 
uh, and I saw this dress. Oh, I saw it on the hanger and I was like, I have to buy this. This is so beautiful. And it was brand new with tags and it cost me seven pounds. And like, you have to see it on because it looks really nice. It just, it doesn't look as much here, but oh, I can't even hold it up all the way. And if I let go of this, the like lining bit will come down. <laughs> but oh, it's stunning. It's so beautiful. I'll do my little try on clip. I love this. <gasps> This is so gorgeous. And I bought that. Uh, even though I took a dress to wear for the gig, I bought that and I was like, oh, I'll wear that for the gig. But then uh, the gig got cancelled. So but I did wear it to a gig um, the other week. So all is not lost. It's very nice. It's very swishy. I love that so much. So yes, that was a win. I had to buy it. I couldn't leave it there. What if someone else bought it? I have a failure. I have a failure for you now. So. I don't know who monkey make clothes for because it's not me because their clothes don't fit me so and I'm good because like I love the print on this it's like abstract nudie ladies so it's just like a big long dress uh, and up top it looks like it'd fit me and it does fit me up top but like, it doesn't button on the bottom uh, like on the hips it's way too narrow but like the label is an extra small and like obviously I'm not an extra small but why does it fit me up top? Who's it supposed to fit? Someone that's like really top heavy, really like skinny, like Dorito shaped, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've, I really just want to love Monkey. Monkey. Because their clothes are just so nice. But whenever I bought stuff from them, it doesn't fit me. Like the proportions are so off. Like I've bought... Yeah, I once tried to buy like a dunkaree dress from them and like the small was like too tight on one bit too loose on the other and then I bought the medium and it was like the opposite it was like too loose on the top too tight on the bottom it's like I don't understand uh, so this is just it's so tragic I can't even try it on it's just like a lovely big long dress and it's got like abstract nudie ladies on it it's like a shirt dress and it's buttoned up and it's gorgeous and I can't even try it on because it doesn't fit and I paid like six pounds for it. So I think I'm just gonna stick it on Vinter, try and recoup some losses. Uh, so that was, that was a fail. This was from the same charity shop. Which one was it? Was it Cancer Research? Yeah, it was Cancer Research, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Cancer Research. Uh, I got, I need to turn these inside, no, right way, right ways together because uh, they've been in the wash. Excuse me. Just a little pair of Adidas joggers. I like these. I think they're cute. I like them. They were £3.25 and they're really nice for my running. Uh, okay, I just wear them as pyjamas. They're very, very nice. Very comfortable. Very sweet. Hello, Trico. You're tinkling around. She's tinkling around. But yeah, I like these a lot. I like the colour of them as well. <laughs> a success. And to my last little cherry shop purchase. I don't where I need to find out where the microphone is on this. Is this ASMR? So I got this big chunky like ugh, chain necklace. Like it's like perspex. This is beautiful. I love it. Should I just wear it for the rest of this video? Can I fasten it? Nope. <laughs> I'm struggling. Bear with me. Why am I struggling? I don't know. Life is hard, guys. Let me just turn it around this way. See, so yeah, I got this from... There's a Marie Cure. I saw it in the window and I'm like, I have to buy that. I love it so much. And it was three pounds. And I have never seen anything like it before. I really like it. I love that the sound that it makes. I love this. Isn't that nice? Oh, I thought it would make more of a noise when I'm shimmying. <laughs> so yeah, that was my charity shop haul. I got some of the little bits as well to show you. This is a random little bit I got for my mom um, from Carol's Irish Gifts. 
Uh, they have these, <laughs> I feel like all over Ireland because I've been in one when I was in Dublin before. Uh, my mum loves Christmas decorations. Um, so I got her this, I don't know if it's necessarily a Christmas decoration. It's got bell on it. I don't know. Even though it says Ireland on it, but Northern Ireland is a different country, but cute. This cost me like six pounds as well. But she loves Christmas decorations. They had some really nice ones that were like, they were like plastic baubles with like Belfast landmarks painted on them. But I thought I'm not gonna get that home because it's just gonna smash. Uh, so I had to buy a little wooden one instead. But she loves Christmas decorations. I bought her one in Carol's when I first went to Dublin and it's a little Christmassy pint of Guinness for the tree. <laughs> she loves souvenir Christmas decorations. She loves them. That's my mum's thing. There you go, Mother Mac, a present from Ireland. I also bought everyone at work two bags of fudge that were like Irish whiskey and Irish dairy cream flavor that were, I just bought them in the WH Miss in the airport because I was like, I need to buy something. <laughs> so, I didn't get much in the way of vintage because I wasn't really looking out for much. One of the shops, I just bought a little badge because the lady very rightly said, oops, I've dropped the badge. Uh, she said, like, I always get the art students coming in here and I'm like, oh, I'm flattered that she thinks I'm an art student and not a 29 year old woman, but okay. Like taking photographs and like filming my stuff and like they don't buy anything and it annoys me. She's like, so I mean, at least I can do is buy a badge. So I'm like, fair enough, hun, I'll buy a badge. So this is from Pretty Vintage Belfast. Ooh. Ah, I picked a pink one because I love pink. Uh, so that cost me one whole pound. I love badges. I'm not mad about that. And would it be, would it be a Louise video if she didn't buy a pair of earrings? No, I've already took these off the card because I like them so much. So I got them from uh, one of the vintage shops. I can't remember which one. I think I filmed them though. Oh my God, she had little like sushi roll earrings. Perfection. So it was one of the girls that worked in the shop. Oh, there's some really nice stuff in that shop as well. And I wanted to buy it, but we didn't have the room in the suitcase, so. So yes, the brand of this, it's called Sleepy Sun. Do you want to focus on the Sleepy Sun? Uh, so I've already took them off the card because I've already worn them. These were 10 pounds. Oh, these are gorgeous. They're just little like flowers, polymer clay guys, and they got a little bit of shimmer in them. I thought these were just right up my street. Are they not beautiful? Yes, I love them. Uh, so they were 10 pounds and I'm very chuffed with those because they are luscious. I also have, uh, I bought in the museum a tote bag because I love a tote bag. Also the Ulster Museum was great. Uh, and the last two bits that I got from the market in here very exciting the market was so good by the way so good uh, got some got some chutney for my dad because papa papa loves chutney do you want to focus on my fruity chutney with irish whiskey from the offbeat bottling company Ooh. yeah they had some really uh <laughs> they had some really like nice jams and chutneys and like preserves and stuff that looked really really nice and it was like three pounds like two to three pounds for a little jar which i thought that's very nice and would it be one of my videos if i didn't buy two pairs of earrings uh, so these are these are so beautiful and they are unlike anything that i already own because you know i own a lot of earrings <laughs> i got these from Sea Glass Island. They are absolutely beautiful. Do we want to focus on my little earrings? <gasps> are they not gorgeous? And the woman was saying like, oh yeah, the blue sea glass is probably from a milk of magnesia bottle. So that's glamorous. I think these are like 15 quid. They're 10 or 15, I can't remember. But like the shape of them, the drop. <gasps> And I was just chatting to a fray just about earrings and I was wearing my little chip fork earrings. So uh, they were a hit. <laughs> These are so cute. <laughs> I love them. They're beautiful. Just poking myself in the face. <laughs> but 
but yeah I, I love those I love them so much and I love sea goddess Jora and I'm just a happy little lady after buying some earrings <laughs> so yeah that's my little haul I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you and I'll put it, this back in the bag and it's just gonna make a mess I'll see you while I'm loudly crinkling on the next one goodbye guys